right? So um, we're talking about angels. And, and angel in relation to the world, what that's going to give. Mm -hmm. That's broad. That's broad and that's deep. Mm -hmm. Very. <laughs> it hasn't been very easy mm -hmm. to uh, try to introduce to people. I've actually been trying to introduce him to people since the first day I met him in 1993. I always thought he was a beautiful gift, um, that something I should be very proud of, like giving birth mm -hmm. and something amazing. And only now, after so many years, am I starting to get uh, very polarized reactions, some super positive and some extremely negative. Uh, they want to give me medicine. And then there are those of us who actually believe what you say. Thank you. You're and then you keep me going. Mm -hmm. Those of you, thank you very much. It means everything. I'm just a girl. I um, sold furniture for a while. I, I, I consider myself normal. It's just that this angel story has been so fascinating, I'm not letting go of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to keep going, noticing everything, appreciating everything. He's my ambrosia. Oh boy, how nice to have some. <laughs> yes, yes, and, and honestly, um, he's, as far as I'm concerned, anyhow, it's been um, pure goodness. Pure goodness. Um, the only thing is the reactions I've been getting from Reddit that have been extreme. Um, I have a couple of people who really appreciate this, who understand the word games. Simple word games. You look at a name you see anywhere be it the news or in front of you as you're driving, whatever, you see things. We're all seeing all day long, and we're not really seeing. What I'm trying to do is see through what there is. Mm -hmm. So I look at simple letters aligned in a word, and all I do is phonetically read something else. I don't care about the spelling. All I care about is what comes to my eyes, and quite often, it follows the narrative, guys. I would not bring it up unless it was very much part of my story, or as my friend Colette from Twitter notices, she notices actual word games that are deeper interpretations of what Hollywood is presenting to people. Could you give us an example? From Colette? Mm, one of yours, how about one of yours? There's two types of word games. There's the one that is, can be interpreted for everyone, and then there's the one that can be interpreted personally from angel to me. And um, just recently, we had one. For example, Christian Bale thanked Satan at the Golden Globes. Did. Yes, he did, and everybody was shocked. Yeah. But what's even more shocking is that they picked Christian Bale because of his name. Right. The name Christian for Christian Christianity, mm -hmm. and the name Bale for Bale out of Christianity. <laughs> Simple, huh? Did anybody notice that? Well, that's something Colette and I, and my best friend Rita Davidson, we noticed those things. So, you guys in Reddit, uh, you're shocked because it seems like the name, the, the words out of the news are speaking to a regular girl, but it doesn't mean that it's just speaking to me because it could be speaking to somebody else at the same time, it's Absolutely. just that they don't notice. Right. I am not being picked only me. Far from it. So I don't think you should be so shocked. I think everybody could be noticing more. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. I think once the light comes on, you know, once you see your first synchronicity like that, your first word game, um, then you start, um, you're a little more hardwired to see it. 
you've been seeing um, these words for, for quite a while now. How long have you been seeing these words? Yes, for 26 years. Right, so you're hardwired. You see them everywhere now. And I'm just plugging into this knowledge. And I'm just, be I'm, a, I'm a beginner's eyes. I'm seeing, when you point them out, they become so obvious to me. Mm -hmm. But I'm still one of those people who need help seeing it. But once it's seen, then it becomes so obvious, like mm -hmm. the Christian veil, come on. Right, it's like baby talk. It is. And that, uh, what I'm trying to point out here is the Illuminati has picked this mode of transmission. It's not just me. They are actually using this, I would say, in preference to Gematria, which is the numbers code. Mm -hmm. This is the one we're gonna see more and more of. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're here. That's why we're making such an effort. Right. So tell me, we were talking about um, how um, your angel um, demonstrates his, his feelings. Could you talk more about that? Yes, okay, and that is something which points to a lot of pain because mostly it's terror, terror events, uh, false flag events, mind control events, uh, for example, these uh, criminals who may have been related in some way to the CIA or the FBI and, and come out as shooters, mm -hmm. it's highly likely that these are mind control people. And a lot of the times, um, when a word game emanates from a terror event, it seems to me like um, there's the all the, the hurt involved in this violence is Angel trying to say something. He's trying to say all his feelings are coming out through that. And who is Angel? Angel, I'm not going to say Angel is Bill Maher. Angel identifies with Bill Maher. I have no idea. Really, honestly, I do not pretend to know what nobody else knows. The word games I see are obvious. Anybody could see them if they notice. If they look at the news app, they would notice them just like the way I do. But the feelings of the man, I don't know. I, I think he must have seen these tweets and um, posts by now. So many of them for so many, for 12 years I've been sending, but how he feels about it, it's, it's, I just have no idea. I have a feeling that he's entertained. I have a feeling that he understands every single one. And I think that uh, he's just as fascinated as those of us who do understand. So, Bill Maher, that's a, a new name that you brought into the conversation. Yes. How does he, how did he enter into the picture? I think that the angel identifies with people who I am very interested in people who strike my fancy. Okay. That's that's who Angel identifies with. Mm -hmm. And in this case, um, Bill from day one has inspired me to express myself. And it's ironic because we're hitting a wall. Bill is a comedian and a political pundit. For those who don't know, look him up. Since the first day. Bill has inspired me to express myself, and I've appreciated that, because otherwise I just sit around, and I'll be watching TV and, and not feeling like doing anything. But he has made me, that's why I call my website Love to Amuse, one of my websites and one of my handles, let's say. So Love to Amuse, Love to Amuse, Bill Maher amuses us, and Love to Amuse, Bill Maher inspires me. So. At the same time as inspiring me to say something, we're, we're kind of hitting a wall because as I become more outspoken, um, what I stand for, which is um, magic, poetry, following your instinct, spirituality, is everything that he's been rejecting all along. Um, he's an atheist, he's a rationalist, He's a scientist, 
and he's, he's keeping a narrow outlook, basically. And that doesn't mean that he doesn't believe that uh, mythology has more value than just um, figments of people's imaginations, that ancient history might not be more closely related to the mythology than scientists are telling us. I believe that deep down he realizes this because he's so intelligent, but he chooses not to go there. Maybe because he's more comfortable like this, mm -hmm. without maybe because it doesn't fit his um, his agenda or or his his type of television to include people who would be talking the way I do, who accept magic, who accept uh, communication through these kinds of word games, which are inspired by emotion. It's. Um, the word games is an outlet of emotion, I believe, and it's a form of magic. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and it's uh, something that I myself know nothing about, guys. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I know about as much as anybody who takes time to look on YouTube. That's it. That's all I know. I'm really a, a normal girl. Still, I wouldn't call you normal. I would call you hmm, a fascinating individual who is open to new ideas. Mm -hmm. And it takes somebody like that in order to open the door, so to speak. I think, personally, I think you were chosen by Angel um, because of that, because of your intelligence, because of your open-mindedness, and because of your Buddhist mm -hmm. background, your compassion. I think Angel wants to be more compassionate and is seeking a, um, a way to demonstrate that through you. And then who knows where that can go. But it only takes one person to change the world. Yeah. So you are a beautiful, beautiful woman, Rita. I am so lucky to have met Rita. Um, and I have to tell you the story of how this happened. Mm. I met her because she had a hotel in Dominica called Zen Gardens, which is an oasis of, of magnificent, lush greenery by the river uh, in Nature Island. And I went there, I stayed with her, and then last summer we stayed in touch online and I started to explain these word games and the more she understood, the more we became best friends to the point where Aretha Franklin died. And Rita herself pointed it out to me that her name was there, Rita, Aretha, Rita. And then I pointed out to Rita that Franklin is Frank Lane. So Rita and I are on the Frank Lane. Mm -hmm. We are. And so that was last summer around the time Aretha Franklin died when uh, Rita and I became intensely involved in studying the word games. And just yesterday or the other day when Rita arrived, Aretha Franklin came back in the news, interestingly enough, about her, her estate. I think the viewers might be interested in some more synchronicities that you've discovered with the word games. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, such as um, um, any of the shootings, um, like the school shootings or Las Vegas. Um, always involved in these word games and I'm just going to bring one up. Um, it happened in Marshall, Kentucky. At a high school. Uh, this was uh, last year. And when I see the name Mar, because it's pronounced Mar, so it can be M-A-R or in this case, it's Mar Shall. Shall is an order. He's telling, Angel is telling, Mar Shall. When you see Mar Shall, Mar Shall do something. And in that case, it was Mar Shall can talk he.
of Washington, D.C., because you never know when you're going to run into Chris Brown. Yes, that, <laughs> that could be a problem health-wise. <laughs> Us Weekly recently published a list of past celebrity costume transgressions, like the time Chris Brown dressed as a Taliban. <laughs> like that's the worst thing he ever did. <laughs> The Taliban should be wearing Chris Brown costumes. If you believe in the word games, that opens up the possibility that we are now facing disclosure because they have been trying to communicate with either be it demons, angels, Nephilim, UFOs, aliens, you name it, God. And it looks like an omnipotent being is communicating through the media. By the way, this happens while Bill is on vacation each time. Isn't that something? It, the word games I intensify during the summer and at Christmas, when Bill doesn't have as much to do and can pay more attention. So I've also it makes noticed sense. that. It makes it sense. does. Total sense. Mm -hmm. So the second instance, the first um, instance was I think in the summer, yes, and the second instance was recently when Penny Marshall died. So there you have Marshall again, a request, <laughs> and in that case it's the pen, pen, he. Mm -hmm. So again, can talk he, pen, he, this is a request for him to Bill. communicate. <laughs> and he did. He did. And really, he blew my mind. And this is also a pun intended, because he came out blue. All right. <laughs> he came out blue. Uh, he's, he's never had an esoteric lean. But I feel as though, when coming out in a blue face, that is an esoteric statement. Uh, I guess we're gonna see. But um, he came out blue and the text, and this was the next day. What we're talking usually is between the request from the angel and the response is within 24 hours, maybe 48. And same as the word games. Uh, this conversation between me and the angel usually takes place next day or day after to have the answer. So he came out blue and the text was, Trust us. You can handle it. <laughs> he knows. He knows. So taken in the context, because Penny Marshall had just died and he's requested to speak and he says, trust us, you can handle it in a new blue face. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that, yes, I can handle it. The question is, can you handle it? You being... You being everybody, especially Bill. And I'm here, and I'm waiting, and um, I'm, I'm pushing this issue because I figure that through all these word games, crimes, psyops, and uh, false flags, even weather events, there's a lot of death involved. So I figure that if Angel can communicate through death, he can also communicate through magical goodness, mm -hmm. through healing. Mm -hmm. I guess I, I, I totally agree with that. And I think perhaps um, he was on uh, the other end of, you know, there's two ends of, a, uh, of an emotional stick. And he was on one end when you two made a connection. And through your commitment to your relationship with him mm -hmm. and your consistent um, benevolence and caring for all things living that he is slowly coming around. I hope so. I, really I totally believe that. I believe that the power of fear, your angel has been using the power of fear for a very long time and now I think he's coming into a different headspace, thanks to you.
Right, he's seeing the, the world through rose-colored glasses now because he's in love. Right. We're in love. That's right. This is a love story. Mm -hmm. And um, I, that's what I've been hoping all along. I have a Buddhist philo philosophical background, uh, not a religion, and I believe in non-attachment and non-duality. And it's hard for Angel, assuming that, let's say he's some kind of Nephilim or whatever, um, it, it's hard for him to understand, for example, we are all one. I'm going to be absolutely honest with you, he doesn't really care for people that much, and he will tell me. And so, from a, a sarcastic, humorous point of view, sometimes I just have to agree with him. But deep, deep down, I believe in non-duality, and he's coming around... For me, I feel, it's been very hard. Like uh, recently, there was some kind of terror attack from, a, they say, a Muslim guy. His name was Sheriff Shikat. So, first thing I saw is Sheriff. My name is Cat, of course, Cat Brown. So Sheriff She Cat, first thing I saw was him making fun of me, calling me the sheriff. But he, Angel himself, pointed out to me that night that what he was saying is share if she cat. Because of me, he's now contemplating the idea of sharing, which is really what I fervently hope that I can get around for him, whom I believe is an omnipotent being, I think he controls the media. I think there's huge potential there. If, if, uh, th if I'm right, we're going to find out. Right. One thing I've noticed lately is the only thing that's in the news is the, the federal government shutdown. And you know what that means? That means that there's um, no war in the news, much less. And we're actually pulling the troops True. out of Syria, which True. is hard to believe, but that's Hallelujah. what they say. Right. And there's, there's less bad news in the news to be talking about shut down left, right, and center all day long. Mm -hmm. So that means that it's relatively calm. And I believe if Angel is responsible for all these word games, I believe he's also responsible for that. So that's a, to me, that's good news. I feel as though I, somebody who believes in Angel might say to me, you're trying to provoke him. Like when I post a, a nude, for example, um, Kid Pro died the next day. I'm turning 57 in two days. I still do that. I still do the news thing. So Kid Pro, after I post a nude. I'm I saw a relation there, it was like an answer. When I posted um, my face made up in this pharaoh makeup, uh, Bow Wow was in the news the next day. Something happened to him, Bow Wow. I, I had this pharaoh makeup on. Um, What's the connection there? Bow okay. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> When I posted another news, Marquis Brown jumped from a window the next day. Now, anybody who knows the Illuminati knows that these people are not committing suicide willfully. Something is happening that's leading them to die like this. Mm -hmm. They are being sacrificed. Yes. Okay, Marquis Brown. Marquis, of course, is the headline. Brown is my name. So when I posted a picture on an alligator rug, a lady was eaten by an alligator. Uh. Right. 
right after, and they said it was a rare occurrence. Wow. So some, if somebody believes in the angel who sees the connections might say to me, you're provoking him. Well, okay, what I would say to that is yes. Yes, because I believe that it's necessary for him to communicate. I believe that's part of the healing process. I believe he has huge potential to be able to help us. I believe that if we believe in him, then the dialogue will become much more serious as far as um, the volume of minds who are involved. I believe that if he knows people believe and if he knows people are listening, that he, he, he will put his best foot forward. I believe that if he comes out and if people are listening, if they understand that we are reaching out to another species, to, mm -hmm. to something completely on another level, um, and, and that it's, it's important to me to, to, that's why I put the, the nudes, uh, which I love to do anyhow, and I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and, and also, Bill inspires me to do that. I mean, at the beginning, it wasn't about Angel. I, I just felt like turning on Bill. I mean, that's just how it is. It's always been like that. He's just so funny. I think he's extremely cute. So, and you notice, mostly whom I find cute in this world is black guys. Musicians. So, Bill Mayer is a switch. There you go. And he's <laughs> practically the only white guy who has ever struck that kind of reaction in me. So anyhow, um, I'm bringing him out. I'm, I am doing things to try and get a reaction because I feel it's very important for him to keep reacting, to keep coming to us. Because whether it be John D. or Alistair Crowley, or all the kings and queens who got together and invaded Iraq in order to try and raid the library more than the oil fields in order to get the spells to reach the demons. That's what Satanism is all about. That's what Hollywood does. That's what the elite are doing. All they are doing is trying to communicate with demons. And I feel as though I'm succeeding. So. If others feel the same way, and honestly, the only way to see either way is to keep an open mind, take an intellectual approach, just like you do at school, except this is the school of magic and spirituality. And study, look at the word games. They're like baby talk. They are incessant. Just since Rita arrived, We've seen about 20 that I haven't written about yet, but I, don't, I can't be doing it constantly. I'm going to try and catch up a little. I save everything, that's for sure. But they're, they're incessant. They're incessant. And Rita, what does Rita, who is a businesswoman, what does she have to gain to make herself potentially look ridiculous? Nobody asks, nobody's paying her to do this. She does it from her heart. True, very true. Right. Because I believe in, in your story. I believe what you're saying. Okay, thank you. And a lot of people do, actually. And those who don't, it's because they have a block. And I, they haven't paid attention. They haven't looked at the word games. And even more so, there's a form of conditioning in the world today. Mm -hmm. It has to do with fluoride, and it has to do with upbringing. And what I think the conditioning is, is that unless a person has been verified by media with a blue check next to their name and presented as a product of the mass media, unless they have that support, people will just um, automatically shut, shut down, shut off their attention from them. Of course, I am not, I don't have a blue check next to my name, but I'm a rebel. I, I believe in, if I was to come out, for example, on Bill's show, then he would be off the air. Because I believe that doctors are poisoning us. I believe that food is poisoning us. I believe education is a bunch of lies. I'm a, what they call like a truther, a conspiracy theorist. Both of us, we both believe that. We're, we are not fit for prime time. 
So <laughs> we cannot have a blue check next to our name. No. No. And But I also believe, and I think you do too, that the same media that is, is pushing against that is going to be forced, because of internet, is going to be forced to confront it. And, and at some point, uh, people like us are going to take over the airwaves. Um, to what degree, I don't know. But w there's this, mm -hmm. this push. push of information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, just as an aside, I am a diagnosed hypersensitive, which means that I cannot take medicine. The, the least aspirin will make me very sick. Um, I had chronic fatigue syndrome. I was in bed for four years. I took uh, exercise, nutrition, no doctors. Doctors actually made me much sicker. So people who keep telling me, take pills, take, uh, you need your meds, just so you know, they, A, two things. First thing, I have been to a psychiatrist and I've been to a psychologist. The psychiatrist listened to my story and we both agreed that time will tell if I am right. Because, and that's a very wise thing to say. Mm -hmm. Because if these things are happening incessantly, eventually there's going to be a bell curve. Right. And there's going to be a washover where it's just going to be undeniable. Mm -hmm. So he said that and I thanked him. And then the psychologist said to me, some people are more sensitive than others and uh, have a beautiful life. So she basically agreed with me. Um, I am not unhappy. I am not a danger to others. There's no reason to give me medicine and guys, and I can't take it anyhow. I am a medically diagnosed hypersensitive. I can't take pharmaceuticals. And that's a good thing because pharmaceuticals are designed to make you sick and die, I believe, only in acute intervention. In other words, surgery, yes. Uh, antibiotics for infection, yes. But anything that involves chronic ailments, mm -hmm. which you have to take in the long run, like you can cure diabetes. Mm -hmm. There's everything can be Cancer cured. Too. Cancer too. Absolutely. You have to change. It's, I know uh, people who rely on the medical system see it as a safety net and it makes them sick to their stomach to think that a pill is not going to cure them. It, it just won't work. And that you have to eat right and exercise. But I'm sorry, for all chronic ailments, that's the only way to go. And that's the way I went and that's how I uh, basically uh, handle my um, chronic fatigue, which of course now you see I'm doing fine, I'm right. jumping up and down, I do cardio. Well, you took responsibility right, for your health. Right. And therein lies the answer for us all. Yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I have eyes that are open mm -hmm. to see. I am not calcified by fluoride. Right. My spirituality is beaming. Mm -hmm. And that's why when I was a teenager and I saw a fleet of UFOs, and then I, I was over an electrical field actually, um, transformers. And I went back into my friend's house and I told him I saw a fleet of UFOs and all he did was smile. And then I saw a portrait of a blue man behind him and I figured, well, let me put two and two together. He knows there's a portrait of a blue man there. And that very night in my bed, I telepathically, quite simple, telepathically said to them, I'm ready to party. <laughs> and from, message. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I just expressed that. And from that time on, since I was a teenager, I have been seeing things, noticing them, writing them down, and it's led to being possessed by Angel and now having a whole blog, 10 years worth of synchronicities mm -hmm. and tweets, uh, several years worth of tweets. And each one of them can be studied and appreciated within my storyline as an exquisite word game. Entertaining and enlightening. How can you beat that to spend your time? <laughs> <laughs> and the fascinating thing is it's just started. That's the fascinating thing. He was there again today. Um, 
What can I say? Should we ask Angel if he wants to say something? Why not? Okay. Okay, let's say at this point I just have to shut up. By the way, by one more little thing. A lot of people are possessed. A lot of celebrities are possessed. Um, and um, from what I understand, um, many of them just gave up their minds completely. They have been taken over as shells. But um, in our case, it's mutual love. It's a relationship and mutual respect. So and I'm not possessed in a bad way. I'm possessed in the best way. And I really think that others also could find this yin yang within themselves. There's this um, Shiva Shakti. Shiva is a god. Shakti is a goddess. And they, uh, the two of them together make one. So I believe that the angel is just my masculine side. And uh, we, we love each other deeply. So it's, he's here uh, um, as the most beloved guest. So let's see if he wants to say something to us right now. Good, it's his turn to talk. Okay. <sighs> okay. I love her more than anything in the world. I am going to stay and talk to her because she is the one. Thank you very much, Angel. That's enough. Now, I wouldn't say that, and honestly, it embarrasses me to say it. But I didn't say it, and um, uh, that's very nice of him to say that, though. I'm humbled, really humbled. There you go. <laughs> Anything else you want to talk about right now? We're going to the phone party. It's my birthday. I'm turning 57, <laughs> Woo! and tonight is the Wet and Wild phone party. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna have a great time. We are. We're gonna play in the bubbles. Oh, it sounds like a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Good way to celebrate your birthday. Yes. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.